So friends, now today this is my second appearance today. This today it is my second appearance. I have already started. I said good morning in the beginning of the first presentation. So friends, it's a continuation of good evening. Okay, it's a continuation of good evening, and with a we sub have a good day. Okay, but before that, you must have a good listening. Go through what I am telling. Go through minutely what I am telling. Give your reaction, liking or disliking, whatever it may be, or you must make the comment because it is for you. It is for the students. It is for the learners. Okay, it is for those who want want to have a better study in English literature. The topic is, as I have already told you, it is the topic is Daffodil, Daffodil by William Wordsworth. It is a poem meant for ICC syllabi. The name of the book is Treasure Trove. So it is an English literature class. It is not only for ICC. Although I, I am presenting this for the students of Bhola Chakravarti Memorial School, still it may be useful. It would be useful to anybody. Uh, who have to go through, or who wants to go through the topic daffodil? I have already told you in the first occasion that daffodil is nothing but an anthem of English literature. It is the basic anthem of English literature. It is the most popular, popular, most popular product. It is the most popular product of English literature, which is a good presentation. Of a romanticism, romanticism. What I what it is? I have already told you in a in a very nutshell. Romanticism is a, a specific approach towards presentation, specific approach in writing, specific approach in thoughts, where the basic facets are man or man, nature and the god. It is basically a product of the subjective aspect of the person. Subjective aspect of the poet, or the essayist, or the story writer. So this is romanticism, and this poem, Daffodil, is a very, very good example. It's a very, very not only the very good. I would like to say it is the most important presentation of, or most important product in the arena of romanticism. Thanks to William Wordsworth. Who has given William Wordsworth is regarded as the greatest uh, yeah, romantic poem in English literature. So thanks to him, he has given us this topic. Okay. Now the poem I have already given you the glimpse of uh, what a, what a, what is daffodil, what is the background. Still I am in a very nutshell. Those who are the late tuners, those uh, for them I am giving a very very short presentation of what a daffodil. A daffodil, a daffodil is a flower. Uh, basically, uh, the particular flower basically grows in English condition, a moisture condition, and it is found in, in all the place, areas uh, around surrounding the Mediterranean, Mediterranean, and peninsula over there, and it 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 also found in the northern northern part of Africa. Clear? It grows in very wet, mo uh, yeah, moist and damp area. It is a flower with, white, uh, with a, it is a flower with color white, yellow, and orange. It is white and in uh, in the mid, orange or yellow in the mid, uh, and the orange in the mid. So this is a flower, and this flower has been named. Uh, original name of this flower is asphodel in English, meaning immortal, immortal. Per plant, it is immortal as because the daffodil lives for a good number of years. And in Latin, the name of this flower is Narcissus. Narcissus is the name of the son of uh, river god in the Greek mythology. And this is Narcissus. So Narcissus and daffodil um, are equated. And in India, we cannot, we may not ever heard the term uh, daffodil. But do you think that we should not have daffodils in our, in our areas? We have our moist, moist area, we have our damp area. Yes, we can have that type of a variety of daffodil, and that is basically known as lily. 
lily in bengali it is known as padma phool or hindi mein it is padma okay so that is the phool it is the poem uh, um, uh, written by william watson when i am coming to that part i am discussing the basic of, um, aspects of the poem that is the synopsis of the poem and in between i am going to give you the overall background and the uh, and the analysis of the aspects but it was a day it was a day in a, in 1804 it was a day eight in eight in the year in 1804 award poet renowned famous you must say beloved a poet he was in a very pensive mood pensive means in a very sad mood he was lying on his bed he was lying on his couch and and feeling unhappy why feeling unhappy there may be the different reasons of being unhappy i have already told you that at that time at that during this period there was the huge causes of being unhappy for them who wanted to live a very free life who wanted to have a life which is uh, best close to nature having beautiful sun clear sky fresh air no noise no rustle and din no boat drum no doll drum so that was the life basically expected by a good number of fellows good number of fellows but the the social picture of england was not so good at that time and it never become good in that manner uh, which was expected by the poet why the factory system has already been developed discovered mass productions carried on in the factories large building huge building top uh, 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 chimney going uh, emitting huge smokes air become dirty smoke uh, make the air huge uh, develops develop the huge mist in the air sky was not seen and naturally ev- everyone who are who are interested in fair sky blue sky who who love who and the person who love nature who loves nature they will never accept that type of environment i have already told you urbanization urbanization was uh, develop, uh, was uh, urbanization was the effect of factory system people from the rural area started uh, coming to the uh, place of production and started living over there huge boatrum it may be one cause and i think and it is the basic cause of our poet is was very sad and pensive on that particular day or not only on that day uh, in many days okay he did not like that type of rustle and din that type of doll drum that type of noise that type of smoke that type of misty air he wanted to have a solace okay he wanted to have a solace how we can how would he, would he give the how would he get the solace now dekho when ever aap log thoda sa dekhiye aap log aap log jab bahut dukhit hote hain na whenever you become sad what do you think you start you try to think you try to recall the some good memories in your life if you entered if you recollect that memory if the picture comes in front of you not in front of you within you as if it is in your eyes in your eyes okay what do you get you will be highly delighted your mind will be uh, will become joyful and you will get the solace out of that to think it aap log ka ghar bahut sari time aap log ka bahut dukh hota hai acha nahi lag raha hai aaj kaisa lag raha hai kya there is no solution but then you go on thinking us din kya tha aha what a day was there and the happening of those those happenings appear in front of you before you ha huh? and you entered into you your mind goes in those days goes in those environment goes in those abhiyas 
goes into the, to the, those people to that environment and naturally and you go on smiling in between in smiling in between in, in in yourself and it will give a solace you will get a great joy and your heart will be dancing your heart will be dancing with joy the sole the sadness the passivity the pensive the pensive state becomes a very brighter uh, state that you would become happy it happened to our poet also then the poet started recalling the day when he was he was in a small uh -huh, in a park beside the bay where i have already mentioned the name i am not making it burden with these names he mr watsworth taking taking sorry taking his sister dorothy watsworth these two this siblings siblings means they are the brothers and sister of the same parents okay they two went out of their house it was the day 15th of april 1802 they came where did they go they go to the countryside they go to the countryside to watch the beauties of nature to watch the beauties of nature when they were when they were many uh, passing uh, when they were walking in the park beside the bay they found some beautiful flower not only a single flower not only a few flowers but there is a huge belt belt of flower huge bunch of a swath of flowers a swath of flowers and they saw the flowers are of white orange and yellow color white orange and yellow color the flowers were the daffodils okay so this is this is, now this is the event nothing else the poet came poet along with uh, his sister uh, walking on the, beside the in the park beside the bay they saw but they they saw a, a beautiful flowers in a good number in a long stretch they were dancing they are fluttering okay so this is the event okay the event took place in 1850 uh, sorry uh, 15th of april 1802 and the man is thinking on which date the man is thinking on uh, uh, in the year in 1804 the poet in pensive mood quietly sad and thoughtful okay now he recalls his idle wandering in the natural landscape idle wandering what is the meaning of idling wandering idle uh, does not mean that you are lazy idle means i am wandering without any cause whenever we have say i am going to kolkata to buy some books so it is not idle it is a purpose oriented i have the work over there that that is why i am coming otherwise i would have not gone over there but say so we because of covid corona pandemic i am confined in my house and this here for 6 7 year months i am not feeling well chalo let let, let me take the scooter and go have a have a ride in the countryside okay in the countryside it is an idle okay so it is idle only there is no cause there is only wandering where they were wandering they are wandering in a park okay beside that bay beside the bay now his eyes fall upon a large belt of golden daffodils okay large belt i have already told you is a belt the huge belt huge belt it is <coughs> it is not at a particular specified area a small area it is not in parks but there is a continuity the continuity of the flowers in in endless line mane as if there is no end of the line the it was stretched from from that point and it is carry, carrying on where it has got started it is not seen where it is going to be end it is not seen okay so it is endless there is open end in both side there is no ending no ending and no ending there is a countless in number they were in it was billions in numbers they were fluttering and dancing they are moving to and fro quickly moving and dancing fluttering means just um, just 
making uh, going to the bottom and then again rise up okay okay go to the bottom and then again rise up so it it happens because the uh, the flowers at the top of the very very uh, plank very single sorry a single uh, tall and thin stem okay so that is the flowers are um, just fluttering they are and and this fluttering of the flower appear to be dancing in the gentle bridge okay gentle bridge now the, our poet compared this just i think you have you have heard the name of milky way milky way milk sorry mil, uh, milky way milky way is the okay is a huge stretch of stars okay huge stretch of stars in the clean uh, sky you can see the milky way okay it is a, a huge stretch of uh, stars okay huge stretch of stars billions in number and in the very very distance it appears as they are twinkling okay so they were dancing they were fluttering in such a way the poet uh, uh, compared this uh, with this milky way the, as the milky way is a collection of bri billions of stars twinkling okay in the night so this is a billions of billions of daffodils billions of daffodils uh, uh, fluttering are tossing their heads and dancing so they compared this with the milky way now it appeared it makes such a soothing such a soothing picture so the soothing scenario uh, scenario in front of in front of the uh, poet okay not, not only poet but his 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 sisters also the poet uh, what is that the poet <coughs> They, they were uh, dancing, they were glittering. Uh, the poet uh, here at this point, the poet, uh, there was two scenario oh, side by side. Okay, there was two scenario side by side. One is the lake. In the gentle in in the gentle bridge, the lake waters are creating waves, and in the sun, there will be the twinkling. There will be some silver, silver dotted. Huh? Uh, emission from the waves okay so it will be a, a silver drops that they are uh, they, are, they are dancing in the waves okay the lake water lake water uh, created waves as a result of the bridge and at the top of the bridge at the top of the water the sundays uh, when the sundays falls you see that it basically go goes on uh, it uh, basically goes on twinkling so it was twinkling and in the other part exactly on the bay on, beside the beside uh, on the shore in the water the water waves twinkling in the shore who are the billions of daffodils the daffodils are tossing their head fluttering and dancing fluttering and dancing so this is compared now to the poet as per as per the thought of the poet as per the opinion of the poet it basically in the, the it, when he compared this to to him it appeared that the dancing the picture of dancing daffodil was much more soothing in comparison to the the dancing of the wave okay the dancing wave in the bridge okay is can never be compared with the dancing and fluttering daffodils in the bridge okay the dances of daffodil that picture of daffodil was much more soothing and it it basically happens when when you are the true nature lover of nature true lover of nature then the poet becomes extremely happy at the company of the gleeful daffodils gleeful means joyful daffodils okay so the daffodil the company the the poet when he came in touch with the daffodils he got immense joy and that is the that is the memory he had been having for a good number of years for a good number of years and it also lifelong now what happened then in the latter days the poet is in sad mood in couch okay couch do you know couch is the bed the poet is lay, lying on the bed in a very sad mood that i have already told you okay now he wanted to he wanted to come out of this sadness he wanted to come out what is the, what is how 
he was thinking on then he started talking to his sister dorothy watsworth and i am telling in this context that dorothy watsworth she uh, was his was uh, his sister and she used to write diary and in all visits uh, they had uh, they used to go together in all their wandering in all their visits in all their tour they used to go together and it was the practice of dorothy to write down to write diary to write down the the happening of this now he took he took the help of dorothy he started talking to dorothy watsworth and dorothy told him told, told him the that picture that thing and then this helped the poet to recall the memory of that day the day of 15th april, 15th april 1802 it is being recalled in the day of any day of 1804 okay now then what happened the images flash in the mind of the poet the in the mind of the poet and then came the creation of daffodil the daffodil poem was created in that way okay it happened it was a case of wandering lone wandering lone wandering of william watsworth along with dorothy watsworth in the year in 1802 15th of april but the production is being in any day in april 1804 dorothy watsworth helped our poet help the poet by giving information as to what they saw and then the poet started recalling the event of that day and this may and this is the bliss of solitude is experienced by the poet bliss of solitude means dekho we say that solitude means a loneliness whenever you are loneliness people very often do you know very often people my our guardian or students and my, my friends ask me are sir ab to akela rehte hai idhar aapko acha lagta hai aapko khada nahi lagte hai akela ab bore nahi hote hai lekin i am telling you man solitude is a blessing of the almighty i i am very fine when i am alone i am also fine when we have along with others but the when i am in solitude i can make a contact with my beautiful friend the almighty and it helps me thinks a lot with regards to the beautiful aspects of life and it helps me in creation it creation so i like loneliness i like be in and not the loneliness but i like to be in solitude and this is the blessings to me so it is a bliss so in, in our poem in our, in case of our poet it is a bliss bliss means a a, a heavenly feeling bliss is a heavenly feeling is a bliss of solitude so it it, it develops a heavenly feeling the images of the dancing it is not the images of daffodil mind it you take it very very critically it was not daffodil that was beautiful it was not the daffodil it was the performance of the daffodil are you getting me it is the performance of the daffodil daffodil itself is a beautiful flower but the poet might have seen it long before many times but the situation the environment the picture the picture scope that was created by the dancing environment by the dancing environment in here, sorry dancing daffodils in a long very long queue in a very very unending queue in billions in numbers beside a lake okay when the lake were also creating waves in gentle beach so such a scenery it was a scenery it was the total it was the total picture that gave the poet huge solas huge solas and his pensive state become a very joyful state and he left everything ha huh? all his sadness goes out okay uh, he recovers from that and he took the pen and the and the copies and started writing the poem the fodil okay so that is the synopsis of the poem and how it has been developed clear 
Okay, so friends, that is all about today. I, I think if the presentation helps you, if both the presentation I think might have helped you, you please go through the total, all the classes, minutely, very, very vividly, and that may, you must be having some queries and you not only praise sir acha hua sir bahut sundar you are marvelous all this it is good but it it would be more good if i if you give any comment with a, with a criti, uh, sorry any critical comment i'll be very happy to enrich my views with your views and not only my students i would like to request all my friends who are in in, in my facebook with me in my facebook please go through and mail help me in making the present again my presentation much uh, richer uh, every day okay thank you have a nice day